Hello everyone, I am Vijay Gadbe and welcome to my YouTube channel. In previous video, we have created the Azure Machine Learning Workspace. Now, in this video, we will explore the same. Let us go to Azure Portal. So here I am on the Azure Portal. Now search here Azure Machine Learning. This is the workspace that we have created. Azure ML hyphen WS. Click on that. Under the overview, we are getting all the details about the workspace that we specified while creating the workspace. The resource group Azure ML hyphen RG. Location East US. Subscription Pay as you go. The storage account name Studio web URL. With the help of this URL, we can open the Azure Machine Learning Studio. Then the container registry, we haven't created, so not showing anything. Key Vault, Application Insights, and MLflow Tracking URI. Now note down here, here we have the option to download the config.json. You have to use this file to load the workspace configuration in your Azure Machine Learning SDK Notebook or the python script and from here you can delete the workspace you have to check this box delete this resource permanently and you have to delete as of now i am going to cancel so this is all about the overview tab there is one more thing under the overview tab from here we can launch the azure machine learning studio the azure machine learning studio is a web application where you can build train, test and deploy the machine learning models. In the upcoming tutorial, we will understand about the Azure Machine Learning Studio. So don't worry about that. After the overview tab, we have activity log. Here you will get all the details about the logs. Here we have multiple options, activity and directory activity. Then we have access control. From here you can check the access. Let us check my access. Click on view my access. Current role assignments. Service administrator. This is the role. And eligible assignments. Error occurred. I'll close this. Then we have role assignments. You can see here contributor Azure Machine Learning Workspace. Type app role contributor scope resource group the inherited one then the roles so here we have multiple roles owner contributor reader and so on then the deny assignments and classic administrators here you can see this is the my user ID and the role service administrator. Now click on add. From here we can add the role assignment as well as we can add the co-administrator. So this is all about the access control. Then we have tags. The tags are the name value pairs that enable you to categorize the resources and view the consolidated billing. Then the diagnosed and solved problems. Here you can explore the most common problems for your resource. There are multiple categories like automated machine learning, CI or CD workflows, that is ML ops, compute cluster, compute instance, designer, and so on. So from here you can solve the problems. Then the events, this is the fully managed event routing service and built into Azure. From here you can add the event, create event subscription and you have to specify all these details like basics, filter, additional features, delivery properties and advanced editor. So this is all about the events. Then we have settings, 
under the settings we have three options first one is the networking from here you can edit the details about the networking as of now we have selected the public network access and enabled from all networks you can enable from selected ip addresses or you can disable as well then you can go with the private endpoint connections and workspace managed outbound access then we have properties here you will get all the properties about the workspace workspace created on location this is the workspace id subscription id subscription name resource group and so on then locks from here you can create the locks you have to specify the lock name then you have to specify the lock type read only and delete you have to specify the nodes and click on okay so this is all about the settings under the settings we have these three options networking properties and locks after that we have monitoring from here you can set the alerts to do that we have to create alert rule here you have to specify the scope condition actions details and you have to create the rule as of now we are not going to do that so cancel then matrices here you will get all the matrices about the azure machine learning workspace here you can select the scope metric name space metric and aggregation then the diagnostic settings the diagnostic settings are used to configure streaming export of platform logs and matrices from a resource to the destination of your choice from here you can add the diagnostic settings and the logs here you will get the logs the microsoft azure provided the video for the information thank you so much for that there are other options as well like all queries audit diagnostics errors and so on so this is all about the monitoring then under the automation we have these three options cli or ps that is command line interface or powershell the azure powershell is a set of commandlets used to create and manage the azure resources then the tasks this is under preview from here you can schedule the tasks then the export template this is to export all resources in this resource group so this is all about the automation and at the end we have support plus troubleshooting here we have resource health usage plus quotas from here you can view the quota and support plus troubleshooting so this video about the overview of azure machine learning workspace ends here thank you so much for watching and do not forget to subscribe my youtube channel